everybody, Miss Molly here for today's random fandom, and we are going into the Super Mario Brothers universe. Um, we're gonna do a little um, paper craft game and make a Yoshi egg. So I'm so excited that you're gonna be joining me, and let's get to it. So if you signed up for a kit, you're gonna have your random fandom instruction sheet that explains the Mario game. Um, and your Yoshi eggs, just how to do everything. Um, front and back, there we go. You're also gonna have um, a plastic egg. Um, I've already painted mine white, um, but yours won't be painted, so you're gonna paint your egg. We have that. We have two containers of paint. One is going to be white, the other is going to be red or green or blue. Um, depending on the type of egg that you're going to paint. You're also going to have the paper for your own Mario game. Um, so it has five different little sheets um, that have all the pieces. So there's the background. We have one, um, well, two, box, two of the question boxes and the mushroom templates. Um, we have three of those and um, this one with the little football and the stand for you. All right, so once you're ready, um, you're also gonna need some scissors um, and a paintbrush and some glue. Um, but apart from that, uh, that's pretty much it. You can use tape too if you don't wanna use glue. Um, it's a little bit easier sometimes. <laughs> okay, so I figured we will start with the game. Uh, it's a little bit more labor intensive um, and a little bit easier to explain. So this obviously is the game board, basically. You will see that it's got some squares that have B on them, and that's where your boxes are going to go. The boxes are these guys here. So you can see those. Um, and the little mushroom caps. Um, so you're gonna cut around the black solid edges around all of these sheets. I know it is a lot of cutting, um, but it's worth it, I promise. Um, you'll also notice that there are some dotted lines, um, mostly around the boxes and the tabs. So the solid tabs here are the places that you're gonna glue to create your cube, which comes out like this, which is pretty neat, right? So we have the top and the sides. And then on the back, it says B, and you're gonna need that for a little bit later. And the inside is hollow and empty. Um, so you're gonna cut all those out and fold them up. I used tape for my boxes, um, just cause it was a little bit easier to put them together and the tape um, made it a little quicker. Um, so there's one of the boxes. And then this is the little, oops, the little mushroom. There he is. Um, so this is the top of the mushroom and then here's the little face. Um, whoa. So you'll see that this part is the little A and there's a little A right here. Um, so when you fold everything, you're attaching the letters to the letters. So there's that. And then the last pieces that you will cut are the base, um, and the little a little jewel for kicking everything. Whoop. So you have that. So when you are actually ready to play, you put your little um, jewel there and then you kick it at the, the game. All right, so once everything is cut out and folded, what you're going to do is take a look at your game base. And you'll notice that there are three black lines, one, two, and three. Um, you're gonna cut through the paper there. And those go with our bases. So the base, you made a slot basically. So the base is also cut. So you're gonna slide the base and the slot right in together. This is gonna help it um, stand up and be 3D for you. And they just slide all the way in. If I can get my, there we go. I can get it to go. So they go like that. Um, and then on the back, you can kind of see they have a tab. So you're gonna glue the tab to the back of the paper. 
that actually might be easier to do before you slide it in. So I'm gonna glue my tab. A little cloud goes in the front. And there we go. And then on the back to keep it so it stands up nice and straight, I'm gonna glue the tab just like that. Actually, what you're gonna do for these is you're gonna make sure that you cut around the base because if you don't cut, it'll be a little bit too long, but that's okay. You can do that with the other two pieces. So there's three of those. I'm gonna glue along the tab. Fit it into the bottom. Line it up right with the edge. Glue down the back. This is also why tape might make it a little bit easier, right? Now, your board will stand up on its own. There we go. All right, so you also see that it has the little slots for the B, um, and these are for your little question boxes, right? Um, so you'll notice that on one side of your box, it has a B. So you're gonna put glue on the inside on the B side, and you're gonna attach your box to the board, so it looks like that. So let's do that. We have the glue. And we'll put the board in there. And you're going to repeat that for the other two boxes there. And then your mushrooms will rest right on top like that. So I'm gonna move this closer and change our little angle there a little bit so you can see better. All right, and there you have your Mario game board. Um, it's super cute. You're gonna have the three all the way up. Um, and your goal is to take your little jewel and Flicking it, knock the mushrooms off. <laughs> um, and whoever can do that with the least amount of tries wins. Super cute. All right, let's do our Yoshi egg, shall we? All right, so now we're gonna do our Yoshi eggs, my friend. So here's um, a painted egg. Um, mine was yellow on the inside, um, and I just painted it white. Um, this is about three coats of the white paint. I'm gonna leave it open. And we're gonna, my paintbrush actually doesn't have any bristles, it's just a little round circle. Um, and I'm gonna use that to do my dots. Um, you can paint your dots on though, that's totally fine. Um, but basically you're just gonna take some paint on your brush and make some circles all around your egg. Anywhere you would like. Wherever makes sense, right? And if you start running out of paint, you can just dip it back in and get some more, right? And there you go, there's the egg. And you do it to the other side too. And there we go. So I got my Yoshi dots. And you don't have to worry, it is just washable paint. So if you get some on you, that's okay. All right, you're gonna leave that aside and let it dry. Um, and once it dry, you can close it and fill it with anything that you would like. Um, change or candy or just leaving it as it is. So my friends, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you had some fun and I'd love to see pictures of your finished projects. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.